Hey, what up? It's New Age Da, and I have a message for you today. So the message today is in regards to individuality, and I'm going to read you a message from this power card. Yeah, this is from the power deck. And so when the shield carrier reaches the top of the mountain, she never seeks approval because approval is based on doubt. Your strength and wisdom are celebrated in your unique ability to view the experience of life with new vision. Power lies in individuality and the ability to see yourself through your own eyes and not through the eyes of another. To be in power, you must own your power and exist within your own individuality. And I like how like everyone's sitting at like this board meeting and everyone's trying to like brainstorm and get mundane reality situated. And then there's like this random Inca in the corner, this like spiritual being that is just sitting there. And this could be representative of you or someone that you know, <laughs> could be yourself, or you can feel alienated or out of control or out of power within your environment. Perhaps you aren't being seen for what you really are. And that is making you feel confused in regards to the type of power that you actually have and how to harness it. The idea of power is understanding that you are an individual and that there is no one like yourself and that only you can give yourself the recognition needed in order to feel empowered in your stance, even if that makes you feel alienated from the group. Eventually, the group will be able to discern your vibration from that of the others, and whether you are accepted or rejected is absolutely none of your business. The best thing that you can do for yourself is actually remove yourself before that even happens, if you don't feel like you're in a comfortable place to be. You know what I mean? Like, if you can't be yourself, why are you there? On another sphere, this is about, you know, not waiting for someone else to recognize you and for you to recognize yourself. And if there's a particular outcome that you're looking for, then put yourself in that position. If there's a particular or a certain in particular, an individual is, is, is very potent here. And then there is a card of balance, which we'll go over that. But there's balance and individuality. Of course, we need to balance ourselves with the other. But sometimes the other isn't in a place and isn't in a place to meet you where you're at. So <clears throat> that doesn't mean that you lower yourself or that you begin to beat up on yourself or you begin to like strip yourself of your own power because you're not being met exactly where you are. Maybe where you are isn't where the meeting place is. And so you have to stand in your will and bring yourself to the position of where you know you deserve and then allow the other to actually meet you there. When the shield carrier reaches the top of the mountain, she never seeks approval because approval is based on doubt so it's like if you're looking for someone to acknowledge you for who you are by giving you the attention that you're looking for this is an act of seeking approval which is actually um resounding the effect of self-doubt and that's not what we're here to do your strength and wisdom are celebrated in your unique ability to view the experience of life with a new vision so you need to change the capacity in which you are confronting the situation if you are not being acknowledged in the way that again you feel that you should then you need to change your viewpoint and change the world around you using your ability power lies in individuality and the ability to see yourself through your own eyes not through the eyes of another to be in power you must own your power and exist within your own individuality so then we have 31, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then we have 2, 2 is half of 4, so these are going in tandem, so we have red and white, south and north. So they are opposing, this is opposing natures, and so for balance we have the structure of your daily spiritual life must be built on a strong foundation in the physical world. Like a pillar of selected shaman stones balanced carefully one on another. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> so 
Take care of your body through diet and exercise. Express your strength in acts of power and bring greater awareness to the exchange of money. Protect and nourish your family and express, express your integrity by bringing balance into society and nature. Then you will be prepared in the physical realm for higher spiritual learning. Your being is a spirit lodge, the foundation of which is rooted in physical manifestation. Strong against the storms along the trail to higher consciousness. Your being is a spirit lodge, the foundation of which is rooted in physical manifestation. Strong against the storms along the trail to higher consciousness. To take power, make your spirit available. Then take your power and bring your physical and spiritual natures into balance. So basically, if there's a particular manifestation that you see on the spiritual realm, if you see yourself in, in one way... Then you need to and you you need to create that balance on a physical realm you need to create the space on a physical manifestation first this is this brings me to the word of toil and toil is like just work this work it's work it's work it's just doing thing with your hands being busy and in this case this is focusing on your diet and focusing on exercise and organizing your environment, taking care of your family, taking care of your children, taking care of your home, taking care of your protection, like protecting yourself, protecting everything that you have in your environment. So that way you can actually level up on a spiritual nature. Maybe you are this Inca sitting at the table and yet you need to integrate into the material realm so that you can bring in fiscal manifestation so that you can put yourself in the power that you know that you belong so it's like you see you want something but for some reason you aren't getting your wish fulfillment and the reason why you're not getting your wish fulfillment is because you're not doing the physical toil sometimes the manifestation is so big that we need to just create momentum and move about create momentum exercise clean your house eat good foods get in movement create movement create space so money manifestation spiritual and physical integration individuality in balance with the spiritual and physical realms giving yourself approval and seeing yourself through your own eyes and not giving the other the right to give you the judgment or validation that you know you have when you seek validation from the other party the other party is not giving you the validation that's because you doubt yourself to begin with so if you know you're a bad bitch or if you know that you're that dude then you have to place yourself in that position only through your eyes and then allow the other to meet you where you're at okay in the meanwhile we perfect things on the spiritual realm and create room for further money accumulation money and self-worth go hand in hand create the space so let's pull a tarot card <laughs> You know, when I start channeling messages, my nose gets ready. <clears throat> so let's get a tarot card to finish this out. Toil. So these are the key words. Toil, balance, and individuality. Numbers 42, 31, 2, and 4. <clears throat> let's get a tarot card. this energy thank you heavenly divine father and spirit for allowing me to be a conduit yes once you actually embody um spirits like higher spirits it's a little freaky i might add kind of like that inca in that random boardroom it's like there's a spirit in the room and you don't even know it and that spirit can be you okay so I, those we have the eight of cups and the six of cups flip over and this has to do with emotionality 
walking away from an emotional situation where we were waiting for reciprocal love. Don't wait for someone else to love you. Love yourself and allow that love to find you and meet you at the proper destination, if so. Love yourself, meet yourself, bring balance, and stay in your individuality. Eventually, you'll be able to create harmony with, with whoever's in your environment. For now, you don't seek approval from others because this is, again, self-doubt. Do not doubt yourself. When the shield carrier reaches the top of the mountain, she never seeks approval because approval is based on doubt. It's like exactly if you've gotten to the top of the mountain, you don't need the world to clap for you. Yeah, you got to the top of the mountain. What if no one saw you do that? Only you know the type of mountains that you've climbed in order to get where you're going. And so you must be able to validate that, that feat, that success and that victory for yourself before anything else. Can we get a complimentary card? Like, what is it? What else do we need to know about balance and individuality? Approval and self-doubt. To be in power, you must own your power and exist within your own individuality. You only have control of yourself. You don't have control of the other. You can only make decisions for yourself. You can only better yourself. You can only do the work that's right in front of you. Do the work that's right in front of you so that you can get to where you're going. Balancing the spiritual and physical realms. Yes, you have to. You have to balance. You have to get to work. You have to do the exercise. You have to eat well. You have to find your solutions. You have to do the work in order to meet yourself. Is there nothing in here? I don't know. It doesn't feel like anything. Thank you, Heavenly Divine Father and Spirit, for allowing me to serve you. Can I get a channeled message, please? Any further? Maybe that was it. Yeah, nothing's coming out. Maybe that was it. <sighs> yeah. I don't think there's anything else. That was the Seven of Swords. It's, that was the message for today. And let me split the deck. <laughs> the world yeah confirmation it's a complete reading and hey let's get some charms <laughs> look at me i'm so stubborn this is when the messages don't go right when i decide to be stubborn but let's get some charms like what can we look forward to self-recognition i don't think there's any messages all right let's see we have a daisy, a unicorn, a turtle, a parrot, the letter B, and an archer, a Sagittarius. The parrot tends to mimic back or echo back what it is that you're aiming for. Um, having a plan B, daisies, getting out in nature, sunshine, plucking your weeds, crescent moon, new beginnings, slower pace, and enjoying your fancy, understanding your unique, your uniqueness and aiming for the goal regardless of whether your environment is echoing back your highest plans for success. The crescent phase is when the root or the plant or the seedling is just breaking soil and it takes effort, it takes effort and it's not usually seen. So this is about working, on at, working at your pace but having a higher goal and not expecting the world to echo back onto you, your unique ability and your power. And understanding that this is a time of darkness, so to speak. And only you will be able to understand and claim your victory. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope this serves you today and always. Talk to you soon. Later. <laughs>